silent, alert, and vigilant. These Marines are keeping each other safe by patrolling secluded streets and thick jungle with air base ground defense training during exercise Forger Fury 3. Sergeant Kelly Blanton tells us some of her responsibilities as the squad leader. Making sure the patrol is running smooth, making sure the Marines understand what they need to do if this was to be a real life situation, making sure that they do everything the way they're supposed to and understand it. I mean, there's gonna be a few mess ups. It's training, that's, you know, that's why it's training. But as long as they understand the gist of it and when it came down to it, I would feel confident they'd actually be able to perform. The purpose for ABGD out here on the island of Tinian is we don't obviously get to do a lot of these things in Japan because where we are located at Iwakuni, there's not a lot of training area. So coming out here to Tinian was a big deal for us. And being able to get back to our expeditionary routes and go out in the jungle and patrol around are things you don't get to do out there in the concrete jungle in Japan. My first unit was an Advanced Infantry Training Battalion. I was the only female in a grunt battalion. Uh, I had the best instructors that were all staff and gunnies, hand chosen to be the instructors for that course. They kind of took me under their wing and I got a lot of different training and a lot of this type of training from them. The overall exercise brings an increased workload for the Marines. And even with experienced mentors leading the way, they have no choice but to do what Marines do best, adapt and overcome. You know, it's, it's really hard being out here for Forger Fury. We have only actually had one day to train this entire time where the other companies had weeks at a time to train. We had op four in there and they said they couldn't hear us coming to the jungle. So as long as they understand what they need to do, how to maintain noise discipline, light discipline, understanding it's time to be serious and actually learn from it, which they've seemed to be doing a good job so far, but as long as they keep that in their mind, I, I think they'll do very well. A lot of times we think that the Marines in the air wing might not know common skills as well as some Marines from division or infantry Marines. I will say that a lot of Marines in this squadron are very proficient in doing their jobs as far as the uh, common skills is related. But the sergeants that know how to lead squads, staff sergeants that can lead controls, those sort of things. So it's great, it's a great experience for me. Reporting from Tinian in the Northern Mariana Islands. I'm Corporal Anthony Reyes.